Hey everybody, it's the Mayhem Minute for this April 3rd, 2015. I'm Mike Sorg, at Sorgatron on the Twitter for WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Hey, please remember to check out and drop by. Say hi to our friends supporting us here in the podcasting world at SliceOnBroadway.com, as well as IndiaWrestling.us, where you can find all kinds of fun stuff, including the new March 2 Victory DVD and digital download, the intergender match, Falls Count Anywhere, with Mickey Knuckles, formerly of TNA. Really fun match, and we were there, and I was a lot closer to the action than, than I probably would have liked to be in that situation but you'll see if you go check out that dvd or a digital download um so uh, today uh you know i, I don't know I, I i'm always iffy when i hear certain stories and as you should be i think when you're watching quote wrestling news uh but this is popped up in enough re- uh sources that uh, and and this is a concept that i think is not unlikely if you watch the WWE Hall of Fame over the weekend, uh, over WrestleMania weekend, uh, you notice Kevin Nash and uh, Shawn Michaels, and even Shawn Michaels going out there and says, well, I'm going to get in trouble with the boss, and hey, man, everybody can thank us for guaranteed contracts, as I'm sure Vince isn't happy about that. So, of course, uh, some of the news coming out of the weekend is backstage news on why Kevin Nash did not want to be inducted into Hall of Fame as Diesel. WWE officials are reportedly upset with his speech. So there's a few aspects to this. Uh, apparently, according to, and then I'm getting this from WrestleZone, who apparently gets this from PWInsider.com. By the way, nobody does original news on the internet. Go find the guys that are doing the sources, like, say, PW Insider, right? Now, WrestleZone actually does get a few of them as well. Uh, Justin Labar over there, I know and I've worked with, uh, did helped out with Share Shot Reality uh, a few times. And uh, work with him, of course, with IWC. So full disclaimer there. Um, I think he's and he's participated in some of our documentary, one of our documentary product checks as well. Um, now that I've done name dropping, uh, we can uh, go back to this. Uh, so so. The story is, um, it said that Nash did not want to be inducted as Diesel because Diesel was one of the worst drawing WWE champions in company history, and he didn't want to be celebrated as Diesel. Um, but, of course, you know, he did so much, even as Diesel, I mean, even for, you know, not being the biggest, you know, part of WWE at the time, he's still significant as Diesel, so... I think that's okay, but still, he's Kevin Nash. He's done so much as Kevin Nash, and you gotta say he's been Diesel. He was Diesel for what three years, four years, and he's been Kevin Nash ever since uh, on the grand stage. So why not? And the guy did a lot. And and to be honest, that that idea of the guaranteed contacts, it's it's true. And I think the Hall of Fame. Some people say, oh, I don't know about this speech. I don't know about this guy. Larry Zabisco kept going back and forth with stuff. I loved it. I love this stuff. WWE, WWE Hall of Fame is a night where everybody gets to kick back and celebrate and be a little more raw. Like, be a little more real about what's going on. Uh, Some more than others. And you had two people in there. You had Kevin Nash... Yeah, Kevin Nash that that left, and it was and and it's saying here Vince really saw that as a personal attack that he left for WCW to try to bury them, um, you know, not all in ten, all one swoop, of course, but you know, um, WCW was of course, and then of course you had uh, uh, London Bray's Medusa who threw the women's title in the trash can, which was another shot fired. So there is a lot of hey, let's celebrate the people that try to screw us over. But still, as far as the wrestling business goes, they were significant, and that's what we're celebrating. Because WWE is the sole survivor. There's a bunch of upstarts. TNA counted was one of them, uh, and they're re upstarting. I feel like uh, you know, but uh, you know, it, it, it makes sense. And of course, they went off on this. Uh, you know, talk about guaranteed contracts, and and of course, the name dropping that that Sean did out there. So of course, they're going to be angry. But of course, they're going to piss off the established old guys. So I'm sure Triple H didn't mind it at all. So, but it's truthful, and it really is truthful. And so, what if uh, you 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 just showed that to your mass mass audience again? The people at WWE Network that are checking in this tend to be. 10, I, 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 I was over the pop filter. I, this thing is not staying up the way I wanted it to. Sorry about that. Um, getting a little inside baseball here. Oh, you don't even know if you're on audio. Um, anyways, but still, let me know what you think. What do you think about the Hall of Fame? Uh, what do you think about uh, Kevin Nash's stance on it? you think he was out of line? Uh, do you think that, uh, or do you think it was the best speech of the night? Let me know what your thoughts at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can leave a comment on the blog post for this. And, of course, uh, on YouTube if you found this video there or Facebook. Uh, let us know what you think, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. 
Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.